All right, welcome back, guys. We are back. Hello. It's <laughs> been a while. We've been traveling. It's been way too long. Yeah. But we're back. That's all that matters. <laughs> all right. So very important topic here is like rent prices. Everyone's so curious. Like. Yeah. But before we get into it, please remember to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below on any video you'd like for us to make for next week. And yeah, just show us some love. We really appreciate it. Yeah, we read all the comments down yeah. below. I appreciate everyone that's reached out, everyone yeah. who has commented, liked the video, everything. It is awesome. And it gives us motivation for the next videos. It, right. I know a lot of people are moving here, so. Yes, if you are new to our channel, we moved to Dallas, Fort Worth almost a year ago. It will be a year next month, July 17th. So we're talking about rent prices rent increases and just sharing with you our experience with you i guess yeah all right so we moved exactly 11 months ago from today and we moved in here at our apartment we live at bexley at left bank in downtown fort worth is on west 7th street it's a very pop popular street with uh like bars restaurants very nice area yeah like we love it it's here. happening here it's so nice so we moved in here we signed a lease at the price of it was fourteen hundred. Yeah, roughly. Roughly, and then there's a bunch of fees after that. Like, so technically we pay like sixteen hundred seventy-five. Yeah, after like everything else, yeah, like trash, valley trash, parking, and... pet, bug fee, etc. Yeah, <laughs> bug fee. <laughs> <laughs> like the bug. Oh yeah, yeah, the... yeah, yeah. Is it, what is it called? Yeah. And, um... <laughs> Insect repellent. <Yeah. laughs> Whatever. And pretty much, I just read an article that. Dallas slash Fort Worth has been has had the highest rent increase in the entire US from last year It jumped up 46% that's a lot <laughs> That's like, the highest thing that's like the highest ever I feel like I genuinely like do not know how people on a single like if you are making you know like average income like 50,000 ish dollars a year and you are living alone I genuinely am so curious how people make that work because if I was just, I can't speak for you, but like if I was just on my own wanting to live in an apartment in downtown Fort Worth, I don't think I'd be able to. Like, honestly. Yeah. That explains a big jump of homelessness that we have seen. I mean, I don't know if it's because of the rent prices, but uh, it would make sense. Yeah, I could see the correlation. Yeah. There, ha there has been a lot of homeless here. Not as much as Austin or LA, etc., but we have seen a jump. Yeah. So let's talk about like, we're not bashing our apartment by any means it's a general trend across every apartment maybe not every but like multiple apartments multiple people that we've spoken to just reading about it in the news etc this is not a uh, anomaly is that the right word anomaly yeah for just us it's across the whole dfw area so our apartment wanted to increase our rent by 400 dollars a month which is a substantial jump obviously that was something we weren't on board with. So we decided, and they weren't willing to negotiate because they have a list a mile long of people wanting to move in to this apartment because it's a beautiful apartment. Yeah, so they have no problem at all. Yeah, and we ended up signing at a different apartment just down the street, which is completely it's fine. Literally right there, yeah. we can see it right across our patio. <laughs> yeah, but again, this is just the norm. There's been other apartments there's one, I won't name names, but like there's one in the Clear Fork area of Fort Worth that like increased their price by I think like $700 to $1,000. Yeah, it's, it's just insane. insane. It really is. And you know, like for what you're getting at this rate, it's like one, will you ever be able to afford a house and save up for a house? And two, if like you do have the funds, you might as well like if you can get a house instead of just paying an substantial amount for a one bedroom apartment to rent when you could maybe be paying off a mortgage like I don't know it's a give and a take we aren't buying a house yet just because we're not in that position yet like we don't want to yet we but still yeah. want to travel and look at different areas yeah just to make sure this is the area we want to live in yeah or if we want to live by the beach in Florida which would be nice it would be nice <laughs> yeah I mean do your own research look into your own area because maybe it's not this case for like the suburbs or other parts of Texas but yeah, really, rent prices are going up, and I've seen several TikToks too about Austin. There was this one girl who, and her rent was like twenty four hundred. No, twenty four. No, it was, was eighteen hundred, and it went all the way up to over four thousand. That's I mean, how much Austin is growing. Just, there's a lot of tech and stuff moving in there, so 
I can see sense, it, but. but still. It just it makes it really hard for anyone trying to live downtown, live in a nice area. It sucks, honestly. Yeah, so overall, pretty much, we moved in, our rent was 1400 and it moved all the way up to 1875 And that's a huge increase for one year. And that's without the additional, like, yeah. monthly fees. So really, it probably would have been closer to that's the $2,000 yeah, range. That's just the base, like, yeah. the base rent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and something else to keep in mind too, rent, if you're new to renting, uh, apartments usually, the longer you stay with them, the more flexibility they give you. So if you sign like a 13 month lease versus like a six month lease, usually you can get a better rate. So you can keep that in mind if you're trying to um, budget. You can also negotiate. I can't promise that they will be willing to negotiate with you because our apartment wasn't, but you can try. Think of options that are available to you. Do you know of anything else that people could do? Uh with how many people moving, if you're moving here to Dallas slash Fort Worth specifically, there's not going to be a lot of wiggle room for negotiation, etc. Because so many people are moving here, the wait yeah. lists are long. So if you don't want to move in there, they have someone else that wants to live there. So. Ooh, you could try finding like people who independently rent out, like maybe it's their condo or their home, or you know they have multiple rental properties. You could try going through them. Maybe they'd be more willing to negotiate and maybe not increase their pl prices as much that could be an option too yeah otherwise just do your research uh apartment search as much as you can for the best deal um if you're trying to live here in fort, fort worth specifically we love the west seventh area yeah. it is mm -hmm. i don't think i've looked at every other area and this is by far like my favorite to live in we also really like the waterside area by whole foods granted it is farther away from things like it's a 15 minute drive from like the West 7th area, but also think about what's important to you. Like if you don't mind having a smaller apartment, but you want to live closer to where everything is, then fine. If you'd rather have a bigger apartment and you're okay with being a little bit farther away, then great. Just think about you, your values, and what you really need to accommodate your price because it really is at the end of the day, it's going to be a give and a take. Because originally we wanted the next apartment we move into to be a two bedroom and that was completely thrown out the window yeah. like <laughs> not even an option anymore. last year we could we, yeah. last year we could have easily done it but right now no yeah like i said like rent has honestly gone up 46 percent yeah in this whole area so it is what it is stay positive we're staying positive <laughs> and if you have any questions let us know we'd be happy to help you answer any questions again if you have any videos you want us to make for next week or weeks to come please let us know um it's our one year anniversary for moving to Texas next month. So we will for sure be doing a one year recap. And that's yeah. it. Yeah. All right, you guys. Thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Subscribe. <laughs>